okay guys what's up update video on big red so if you followed my instagram and whatnot you would have seen that we already got it running um this video was shot over a couple days um honestly it's really difficult to be working and get picking up the camera and making videos so a couple of clips that i'm going to patch together to show you the progress um number one i modified the original distributor a bit so the intention was modified so that we can use the basic distributor setting with the tdc wheel and do the missing tooth and then in a future video we're going to switch to the full sequential um, the, that was the plan so the first clip we're going to go straight into modifying the distributor we're going to be modifying the distributor to work with the missing tooth wheel first and foremost we took off the cap the core is already out and the rotor next we're gonna be disconnecting the igniter and taking off these screws these screws for the VR sensor and it will pick up with a little bit more progress so we have the igniter where is it move out of the way Disconnected, move out of the way, and this VR sensor unbolted. Last, well, not the last step, we need to remove these three bolts next, and then we need to remove this retaining clip, this right here, by pulling on the long nose pliers, and we will remove this entire gear drive. Okay, so we have this gear out of the way. Careful, it has some shims on the back. To remove it, like I said, you just remove this retaining clip and you this dowel should just drop out. Next final step is the gear drive. Okay, so with everything unbolted, just need to give it a little tap at the bottom and the gear drive should come out like this. What I normally do if you want to run sequential injection you'd be using this 24 tooth and this single tooth if in my case on my car i'm just going to be using this single tooth by removing this tooth right here which will be in line with this tooth so instead of a 24 plus one it will be a 24 minus one which essentially works out to be the same thing in the software if you don't want to modify a distributor you want to keep your stop this distributor use both of these this one and that one if you want to do it in my case, like I did on my car, I'm just going to be removing this tooth and it's going to be sequential injection with just this one gear. Okay, but for the, the red hatch, we're going to be using my gear, which I already modified, which is, I'll show you in a bit. Okay, and this is my previously modified gear we have one missing tooth here and we have another one 180 degrees apart or let's see if i can get a good shot as you can see here directly across from each other which tooth did i remove let's do some counting in line with this gear would be that gear and if we go clockwise it will be one which is the tooth we are lining with so that's one two three four five six seven teeth clockwise after this tooth and in trigger in tuner studio this ends up being a trigger angle of about 145 degrees offset it may be a couple degrees off on your setup depending on the position of your actual distributor but anywhere around 140 degrees and you'll be using 12 minus 1 crank speed trigger so i'm just going to reassemble this modified trigger wheel in the stock distributor for the honda and we'll wrap it up and all back together see if i can get a shot of the modified wheel on the inside it's one of them right here missing tooth and a second missing tooth um, this method 
usually I you don't need to do it on a Honda you can use a stock distributor like I say but you it's very beneficial if you do in a Toyota Toyota are notorious for the noises on the VR signal so you just use this 24 tooth wheel on the Toyota the Toyota distributor also has a 24 tooth wheel and you remove one or two teeth yep so we're gonna wrap up this segment and we'll pick up with some more progress now that the distributor is modded fast fast forward a couple of days we I went over to the place where the car is it's about two hours away from me and we I tried my best to get it started on the basic distributor but we we're getting a bit of noise so in the interest of time I did a quick wiring swap and then I switched to the missing tooth trigger which we got it started on the missing tooth trigger all we had to do was a bit of fiddling around to get the trigger angle took a good while but we got it working um, the trigger angle ended up being somewhere about 280 degrees if I recall correctly we got it idling um, idle control valve apparently was stuck it was not working what else um, that was about it so we'll go to that clip and then we'll pick up after that but guys we're back um, I have a little allergic reaction going on here but Anyways, this video is probably all over the place. We we back in big red. We let me show you what we have going on for today. Hopefully, we get a start out of it uh, this evening. It's about five, or about an hour of daylight, so this video may end up running into the dark. Here again with the crew. This time, your little your memory won't run out. We have Bolo doing some mad silicone madness a few changes for today Turbo manifold is out type R or I think an NA manifold is in still in a few leaks on the GSR intake manifold V0.3 is plugged in, laptop hooked up, car is a bit cleaner, yeah but, so, getting ready to start, um, we're going to be trying to start on the 12 minus 1 trigger wheel, for now, and then switch back to the basic distributor, and we'll pick up, with some more progress, in a bit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and we have fire in the hole. running we I move next into getting it to idle um, the idle control valve was stuck I'm not sure if I said that already but the idle control valve was stuck idle tuning of the idle control valve pretty much did not work so I had my friend and we were using a GSR intake manifold so for those who know the throttle stop is hidden all the way in the back so I had my friend hold his foot on the throttle steadily try to get it to idle somewhere around 1500 and with no 
wideband because I ended up forgetting my wideband controller where I basically just tuned it based on sound and smell um, it ended up putting ended up putting pretty good vacuum um, yeah so we got it idling pretty well at that um, that's on the missing to 12 minus one it's a basically the modified distributor with two teeth removed um, I took the gear from my Civic um, yeah so that's essentially it we got it running pretty good um, next step uh, I think just basically knit up the car we're gonna add we need to add a seat so we have one of our brick calipers it's not working and then the car is going to be trailered to my home where I'm going to be installing the wideband and finishing up the tune sometime later this week and we're gonna take it to the track for some initial pulls and then hopefully we get to race it on Sunday um, I hope I covered everything um, yeah so let's skip to the last step I think that's the last step well it's swelled up get gas I suspect Kyle trying to do a burnout or something. <laughs> Engagement low. Huh? The engagement low. No one out, no one out, no one out. And that's a wrap. I'm just recording this clip. So lastly, I think we'll just close up this video. So recap. Um, the Honda is running, the B20 VTEC is running. Um, I need to add a relay to the VVT or the VTEC output because speed donor output is ground to the VV from the VVT output. VTEC needs 12 volts, so we're gonna use that ground to trigger a relay. So we're gonna do we need to trigger that. We'll wire that in. Basic, a basic automotive relay will work. I'll show you how I do it in a subsequent video. Um, for, for I need to change the plugs on the car. Well, we need to change the plugs on the car, and then we're gonna finish up the tuning. So, hope you guys. This video may be a bit long. 
I think it's yeah, maybe a bit long. So hopefully you guys made it to the end. So the Honda is running. Thanks for staying tuned. Any questions, leave it down in the comments. Like, subscribe, share. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe, guys.